Good morning, everybody. Hey, it's uh, time again for another shaving video. This time, like I spoke of in uh, one of the last ones, I'm going to do a head-to-head -head shave contest between my vintage Gillette double-edge safety razor, which is featured in all my other videos, and this new thing I bought in the clearance aisle at Walmart, a Norelco. Look at that. How futuristic. It's got the swiveling heads and the thing that pops out the back so you can get your sideburns done. Well, I've never used one of these before, except when I was a, a very young man trying out for the first time, trying out shaving. And I was in the Walmart not too long ago, and this was on sale for about 10 bucks. Normally, you know, 35 or something. They have different, different levels of price for these things. And so I bought the cheap one just to give it a try now. Will that affect the quality of the shave? Perhaps. But I mean, you know, how much more futuristic can you get than those thingies? What is that? What are they? What's inside there? It's a mystery. Ah, look, you can see. That's still a mystery. Anyway, so I thought I would do this side of the face, obviously, with a two days beard growth, more than I normally do. Uh, last time I shaved was uh, Sunday morning. I skipped Monday because I had to take the kids and get the car looked at and all this stuff. And now it's Tuesday morning, so I got a two-day beard growth. Those white, those gray hairs coming in. And this is uh, Arbisol right now. And so what I'm going to try this side first. Now, if you are familiar with these, you will uh, know that in the, when you read the instructions, it recommends that you shave your face like for several days so that your face gets used to being you, being uh, having an electric shaver. Which is weird to me. I mean, why should your face get used to a shaver? I don't know. Strange. But that's something I learned when I picked this thing up and read the instructions. Now, I'm not going to do that. Every now and then I use it for, say it's, you know, you just need a quick, 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 quick shave just to get the, uh, you know, most of the stubble off and get out the door. But I've only used it about maybe four or five times. So let's give it a try right now against the double-edged safety razor. The old Gillette Fat Boy. The old grungy one. That's right, let's see what they do. I'm gonna do this one first, and I'm not sure how exactly to um, compare them once they're done, but I'll, you know, put my face up close and maybe rub my cheek so you can hear it. Norelco, side one. So I just kinda, I don't know if you're supposed to go in only one direction, but I kind of go in several directions. You can hear as I go over the stubble that it gets quieter after the blades take off that initial bunch of stubble. So yeah, it's not too bad, right? Not too bad for a quick, quick, quick shave. Or heck, you know, traveling. You don't want to bring your razors and your creams. You can just bring this one thing. All right, so there we go. There's the inside. Ew, gross. You can clean it out. This is actually a, a waterproof one, so I can dip it in the water and clean it out, which is nice, which I'm doing right now. There, all clean, let it dry. All right, so there's side one. Can you hear that? Can you see that under there? All right. It's up to you. Old technology versus new. This old razor. I still wonder who initially purchased this razor when it was brand new. And if on that first morning they used this thing, did they ever imagine that uh, 50 some odd years later, almost 60 years later, there'd be some guy filming himself using it on something... I'm filming this on an iPad, of all things. Something that only Buck Rogers would have used back then. Now, the one thing about electric razors is you can't really cut yourself. I don't think. Or, boy, if you could, wow, that would really... But I haven't, at least. In the few times I've used it. Someone commented in another video that uh, I use kind of short strokes when I shave and 
that's just my style, I guess. Some people use long, sweeping strokes. If you, you watch some of these guys on YouTube. But then, you know, like I say in just about every video, whatever your style is, that's okay. As long as you don't press too hard, you won't get razor burn. Can you hear it? Can you hear the whiskers being whisked away? Somebody asked me where uh, I purchased blades and stuff before. Check out shavenation.com. He's also got a YouTube video channel. Get this little bit right here. Okay, let me wash my face off. Whoa. Can you tell the line of demarcation here? This is the double edged safety razor shave as opposed to one pass. Can you see that? One pass. I'm, I know I'm getting uncomfortably close. I'll get out of your safety bubble, your space there. But uh, it's very obvious to me just not even going against the grain. There's still a lot of stubble over here on the electric razor side. Once again, the electric razor side, the double edge safety razor. Somebody asked me what DE stands for. It stands for double edged. There's an edge here and an edge here. And you just use them both. Just answering some questions. So yeah. This is very smooth over here with the razor, which it seems kind of obvious, I guess, that this really sharp razor, which, which you know, its edge, of course, this is a feather blade, so it's the, one of the sharpest safety razor blades in the world. Its edge is micron thin, you know, it's super sharp. And uh, I guess the other, the Norelco, I don't know what kind of blades, really, they are, what they use, or how thick they are. It's hard to tell, even looking on the inside, what's going on in there. But, we have a winner. The almost 60-year-old double-edged safety razor, the Gillette Fat Boy from 1959. Was it 1959? I'll have to go back and look at the date. There's a date code underneath. And you can, uh, when you, if you buy a vintage razor, uh, a Gillette, you can find out what year it was made. Definitely smoother on this side with only one pass down with the grain of the beard. Although I'm not surprised because every time I've used the Norelco in the past, it's felt, you know, kind of still rough and stuff. Shall we take off the other side? Just make it even, even Steven. Oh yeah, definitely a lot more stubble left over here. All right, let's take our trusty, not very fancy, very cheap, inexpensive, affordable Barbasol, which some people really don't like, and they hate to see a man using it. Somebody said, you're walking the line between wet shaving and something else. But isn't wet shaving just using water and shaving with a foam or a cream? That's what I think. Maybe I'm cutting edge, as it were. Pardon the pun. I'm not a purist, that's for sure. I'm going to use what's right for me and what's best for me and what works for me. I'm not going to shave a certain way because somebody says, you can only shave this way. That's what the term means. It's my own term. I have my own definition. Can you hear that? Can you hear the stubble still there? Left by the electric razor. So, in my humble head-to-head -head competition, at least with this budget version Norelco. It's nowhere near as good as using a real razor. I'd expect the same results from a Mach 3 razor, you know, a modern razor versus an electric razor. And maybe the really fancy ones, you know, the expensive ones that cost, you know, 150 bucks or whatever, the electric razors, maybe they um, Let's see, there's a commercial. See, if you don't pay the $9.99 a month on Pandora, you got to listen to commercials. I already pay $9.99 a month on so many other things. I'm just willing to sit through a commercial. Sorry, you guys have to listen to it. Free advertising for whoever. Oh my goodness. That's too much. All right, hold on. <laughs> Two commercials in a row. Outrageous. Kids, back when I was a kid. We had a thing called the radio, and you had to listen to all the commercials, and you couldn't, 
If you wanted to hear a song, you had to call in and say, I want to hear a song, and maybe they played it. It's a different world we live in. But I'll tell you what, the old world beats the new world in this head-to-head -head shaving contest today. It's interesting, I wanted to do that, and I'm going to keep the, uh, you know, the electric razor around just because sometimes if you just need to shave in like a minute, this will get the job done, and you'll be able to get out the door. But I never feel good, I never feel clean, and obviously... I'm not as clean as I am with the good old-fashioned, nearly 60-year-old safety razor. And uh, buy a brand new one. Go to ShaveNation.com or other websites online. Go to Amazon. Look for double-edged safety razors. They have tons of great, a lot of German-made um, safety razors that work just as well as this. And uh, are, you know, look similar. And some look more high-tech. But they're all still simply a razor in a handle. And uh, I'm glad you joined me for this. I hope uh, it was informative, at least. And uh, keep commenting. Thanks for all of you that subscribe. And have a good day. Hey, Norelco. Gotta go plug it in.